Check, 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 check. Low resolution first started out with a sample chop. We used the push two to kind of break up all the samples. And all of that came together like this. There were some keys and guitar that we had to replace, some B3 organ. And then added some electric guitar to that. Some of the more riff stuff is our friend Greg Foreman that we ended up chopping and using as well. If you listen here to just the sample, you can hear the drums have sort of this 70s vintage vibe to it. A big part of what we were doing in the studio was trying to actually recreate that with real drums in the recording, which was actually achieved playing with chopsticks so that we were able to crank the preamps and crank the compressors to get that sort of tonality. After we replaced the drums that were in the sample, we wanted to replace the bass. So you can hear a pretty standard clean bass sound, but it's just doubling the sample itself and holding down the low end. So another thing we had going on was this flute sample, kind of playing that. We used a saxophone because we really liked that melody. Just kind of a fun feature to make this sample feel more alive. If you have heard the song already, you definitely didn't miss the guitar solo. It was performed by Chris Griotti. Sounds like this. If you haven't heard of Chris, definitely go check him out. For the synthesizers, we use four main synths. It's a Moog Voyager, an MS-20, Roland SH-101, and a Dave Smith OB-6. The OB-6 was always kind of in the original demo. Almost kind of ending up in a place where the electric guitar kind of ended up. And then we had this Eastern sounding lead line in the chorus. And that's the OB-6 right there. And when we got to this transition part, we had uh, the Moog Voyager as a synth bass and kind of this really chromatic Willy Wonka sort of step down. And then it goes into this MS-20 bass, which is sort of like helps to thicken up this next section. Each synth is making its own appearance right here, referencing themes that it, they were playing previously. We had a lot of layers of falsetto vocals with the other vocals. We used vocal effects in a way that was kind of playing around the main melody. There's an octave up, sort of reverted out vocal. Sweating bullets on Broadway. In this very last section of the song, we have a falsetto vocal that's singing sort of this round and playing almost a counter melody around the lead vocal. That's Low Resolution. Thanks so much for watching. Low Resolution, it's a song. Listen to it everywhere.